Since the port of Baltimore is blocked by the bridge collapse wreckage, Royal Caribbean International needs somewhere else to go, and that somewhere is Norfolk. Ten on your side's Nick Broadway shows us what this means for downtown Norfolk and the passengers on board. As they're already getting ready for Carnival Cruise to dock here in Norfolk on Easter Sunday, they're now getting ready for Royal Caribbean, docking here later on next week. The 2500 passenger Vision of the Seas vessel will come to Norfolk's cruise ship terminal next Thursday. Adjusting course was a process they started a few days ago. Uh, listen, it's so much more complicated than just opening the terminal doors. This includes dealing with customs and border protection, the maritime community, and dealing with luggage and transportation. A process that usually takes about a month, crammed into a few days. More than 50 buses will be throughout downtown Norfolk that morning, waiting to take the passengers back to their vehicles in Baltimore. We've got a facility that can handle these ships, and these cruise line partners are simply looking for a safe place to berth their vessels. Kirkland praises the way this region got the prep work done, a helping hand after a terrible tragedy. But everyone has come together. This community as a whole has come together. I, I can't impress upon you enough that this is not just a nauticus um, effort. This is a uh, maritime community and citywide effort, and we're, we're proud to support. The Carnival cruise ship docks this Sunday at around 4.30 in the morning, and several dozen buses will be stationed throughout downtown for those passengers. The Port of Baltimore could stay shut down for several months. We asked if this means even more cruises will embark from Norfolk, but Stephen Kirkland says they don't know yet. They've stayed focused on what's going on now. Vision of the Seas will do two more cruises leaving from Norfolk on April 4th and the 12th. Nick Broadway, 10 on your side.